Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Daily Routine, the one and only show where I get to talk about sports. The Yankees embarrassed themselves last night. Of course, they scored seven runs in the eighth in the eighth inning and they still trail uh, twelve to ten going into the bottom of the eighth inning where the bullpen let let it let a chance to come all the way back slip away. The New York Yankees are embarrassing themselves. The Yankees are, are were my pick to win a wild card game or to win the American League wild card before the season started, but now with their latest debacle in Colorado and at the start a stretch where they face beleaguered opponents like Colorado and Minnesota. This is not the way the, the New York Yankees wanted to start the stretch. The Yankees are, have no talent on offense. Um, yes, Ellsbury and Gardner uh, were were solid, uh, were um, okay last night, but they can't hit. They are the worst offense. They have the worst offense in the American League East. They scored few, uh, fewer runs than any other team um, in in that division. Of course, granted, there is Boston, Baltimore, and Toronto, all tremendous offensive teams. But if the Yankees cannot keep up with the, those three teams in the division and win the games they're supposed to, like they like they should have last night going in against the Colorado Rockies team, which quite frankly isn't really good. Granted, it's a course field game, but if if you want to win, uh, if you want to win 85 to 90 games, you have to score runs at course field. They they needed this. They needed to wait till the sixth inning to do that. But the Yankees are in trouble. And look, and it's gonna be it's gonna appear more and more likely that that at least one of the three relievers for. Uh, at the back end of the bullpen, get traded to either Chicago or Voldis Chapman could, could be heading to the Cubs by uh, at the deadline on August first. There's potential that another could go to D.C. now that Jonathan Papelbon is on the disabled list for the long term. So the Nationals and Cubs, two of the contending teams in the National League, need closers. The Yankees are in trouble. Game six of the NBA Finals is tomorrow night, and Game five was bad, bad, bad for the Golden State Warriors. Draymond Green suspended, and the the Warriors show that they have not won a game this year, uh, regular season and postseason without Draymond Green. Of course, Green participated in the first 88 wins uh, of the season, but how did they get to the 89th? Well, game six tonight is going to be uh, uh, tomorrow night is going to be epic. It's gonna it's going to be uh, one of the one of the great games we've ever seen. LeBron James uh, coming off uh, and Kyrie Irving coming off of that dramatic forty one point performance for each of them in game five with their backs against the walls against Golden State. They were they uh, they showed Golden State how to play. Apparently, the Warriors did not uh, come out to play last night, especially when they're up three games to one in the series. You gotta close out the Cavs in Game Five, even though they did, even though no Draymond Green and no Andrew Bogart in the second half. Uh, Clay Thompson had contested shots. Uh, uh, Steph Curry his, uh, thinks uh, thought he could do everything by himself, but you know. But LeBron and the company did a great job defending, uh, defending the 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 Splash Brothers, while the rest of the offensive team didn't didn't show up. Harrison Barnes uh, looked like he was thirty five to forty years old. Um, let's see him. The Warriors defense couldn't step up behind oh, after Andrew Bogut went down with with a scary knee injury. If the Golden State Warriors want to win tomorrow night, which I think they will, they've they've only lost back-to-back -back games once in, uh, once during uh, the last 12 months, which which was in um against the Thunder in the playoffs. I the Draymond Green needs to show his his defensive prowess by holding LeBron in check. 
this is going to be one of the greatest NBA games you you will see and it's going to be epic. Steph Curry against LeBron James in Cleveland. The Cavs facing elimination. And I think Golden State wins by five points. The New York Mets apparently can't hit. Jameson Talion looked fantastic in, in, in his second big league start. His first on the road. So he, he got everything working for him. Eight eight shutout innings, two hits, one of them erased uh, by a double play, uh, five strikeouts, one walk. He looked like he was the number two overall pick in, in the 2010 draft behind Harper. I I think that, that granted Pittsburgh has had to shuffle its rotation around in 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 recent days because Garrett Cole landed on the disabled list and. They had to shuffle their whole whole rotation around when we won Acasio to start. Uh, who was originally supposed to start last night is going to start tomorrow night for the Mets. They bring Mac Jamison Talion, who was originally sent to the minors uh, after his major league debut last week. But but the pit the, the Pittsburgh Pirates absolutely positively had to win that game last night against the Mets. They they lost five in a row. They had to go to Coors Field and and you know what happened. Then they got s swept in the three game series by the St. Louis Cardinals, who who I, who I give a lot of credit to for finding ways to win all three games. But the the, the Pirates pitching has some issues. Especially now that Garrett Cole is hurt, the the front the front end of the bullpen has has. Been a bit weak so far for for Pittsburgh. Um, so the the the, mag, the magic of of pitchers revitalizing their careers in Pittsburgh hasn't quite been uh, the envisionment they uh, they expected this year. Francisco Liriano's is is having an off year. John Neese's ERA is over five. If the Pittsburgh Pirates want to want to go back to the playoffs, they will have to win the wild card, but they're going to have they're going to have to improve their pitching dramatically. Meanwhile, the Pittsburgh Penguins won the Stanley Cup last uh, on Sunday night. I know I forgot uh, I did not film Monday or Tuesday, so this will be my first chance to congratulate the Pittsburgh Penguins on winning the Stanley Cup. And I mentioned all spring long on Flynn for the win that that Pittsburgh was a dangerous team. They had Stanley Cup talent. They they got everything they needed in so whether it's through the offseason acquisition of Phil Kessel from the Toronto Maple Leafs, the former Ranger Carl Haglin from the Anaheim Ducks. I think you know, I think you have to give a lot of credit to everyone on the Pittsburgh organization from from Mike Sullivan, the the head coach who who replaced uh, the old coach who got fired back in December, they were out of the playoffs by then, and from December on, they were by far the best team in the National Hockey League. The fourth Stanley Cup win for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Good news for the New York Football Giants. Victor Cruz is back on the field. Victor Cruz, the one who does the salsas, the one. So who, so who Giants fans have come to know and adore, he's back on the field, and the Giants' offense is ready to explode in 2016. Granted, the running game isn't; it doesn't have much talent, but Sterling Sterling Shepard was looked phenomenal and. It lasts uh, yesterday in training camp. They go at it again today. O Odell Beckham is well, you know, OBJ. But but Victor Cruz is going to be the X factor for the New York Football Giants in 2016. Slot slot receiver, you need that in ben, in Ben McAdoo's offense, and I really hope. That if that Victor Cruz can stay healthy, because if he does, the Giants are on the way to Jan to January football on Fox and and or whatever they whatever they're playing. That 
if if Victor Cruz can stay on the field, the New York Giants win the division. Hey, that's gonna do it for this edition of Flint for the of um. It's not Flint for the win. You can turn turn back in in August for that. But until until next time, have a good day, everybody.